What if there's a tool that lets you customize the content according to your audience? Suppose your uh, any audience coming from the India, then you can uh, show the content in Hindi, and if anyone coming from the USA, you can show that content in English. Based on the regional location, you can change the uh, language of that content. You can change the how you gonna show that content. So these things you can do with a tool. So this tool name is the If So, and with this tool, you can customize your content according to the specific audience regional plus you can also customize some if and so based conditionals so if one uh, if anyone supposed uh, a certain condition meets then the content that is going to be displayed will be different for the different kind of the conditions that will meet i know it's something like the uh, complicated when i am talking to you about it but in the matter of minute i will give you its demo tutorial and walk through and how this plugin work in your wordpress site so this video is going to be a detailed if so review in which i am going to give you if so detail demo its walkthrough its tutorial and in the end i will also disclose its lifetime deal so without wasting any more time let's get started So hey guys, this is Prasanth here and welcome back to Sasko YouTube channel. And in today's video, like I said, I am going to display and review the If So. So this is the If So lifetime deal that is currently on the app Sumo and it's just the $59. So let me first tell you what is this tool and how it is going to help you out. So with this tool, you can deliver dynamic content based on uh, visitors, characters and the interactions and the conditions meet. So this is the very good example here on this image. You can see whenever a certain condition meet like the page loading uh, visitor time uh, spending on the that page or a certain event or the uh, link clicked a pop-up will show up that is specially specified for that uh, that user or that visitor and that can instantly convert to get you more buying or the purchasing for your uh, products if you are a e-commerce or get you more uh, page views if you are uh, doing something at, uh, educational article so these things you can do with the if so plus there's the more things let me told you everything here so you can uh, read here have you ever seen content on a website so relevant that it felt like it was speaking directly to you so that is called the uh, dynamic content marketing so it's not magic because it's you can do with this if so plugin here so with this plugin you can personalize content on your site in the minutes you don't have to uh, need any coding knowledge or the technical knowledge this tool or uh, must i say wordpress plugin usually works with all the popular page builder plus if you are not using any page builder no worry because you can also still use this plugin here you can track the dynamic versions of content with the built-in statics yes you are going to get all the insights and analytics that you have uh, got using this plugin on your website plus this is the best plugin uh, that is based on the conditional marketing and the if so uh, based for the digital marketer digital agencies all the website owners and the bloggers that are uh, searching for a tool that can do with the dynamic marketing so this is the plugin that i am talking about here so this is the very good uh, good demo you can see here so suppose this is default content that will show but whenever a certain condition will meet this type of content will going to show here so with a single short code or uh, creating this single uh, pasting single uh, code on your any website visit or page you can enable this plugin on the whole website here so you can see here again it's also work uh, with the uh, gutenberg blog it's also work with the uh, any uh, uh, element or or the any page builder here okay so let me show you all of its pricing then i will uh, give you its walkthrough demo and tutorial of the platform so it's there are the multiple plans available on the app sumo lifetime deal the single tier plan have the five sites license and the 10000 monthly geo location sessions okay so i must clarify this first this is the geo location sessions not the unlimited or the all sessions suppose uh, your visitors coming from the different regional geo locations then this is the uh, limit 
limit of the 10,000 for those uh, geo locations. But you can see here unlimited sessions or unlimited conditions you can imply element or uh, integration, trigger event extension, CSV extension, and all the things you are getting. The only limit on the all tire plans are for the uh, website license and the monthly geo location. You can see here on the double tire plan, it's got increased to the 15 website and the 20,000 monthly geo location sessions. And in the multiples, you can uh, multiply this thing okay so this is the lifetime deal and if you want to know more about this tool or the lifetime deal the link will be given in the description now let's go to the its demo part and how you can install it on your website so once you bought its lifetime deal you will uh, get a li uh, license key here or you can download the if so plugin so what I suggest you can just search this plugin on the uh, your WordPress website here and just install this site so while it's installing I uh, must say it's the, all the uh, features that I think you should know before you get here so these are all the conditionals that you can use user self selection conditional redirects conditional pop-ups conditional CSS custom profile fields and audience segmentation and personalization things also you can do and there are tons of more conditions av uh, available for the uh, maximum flexibilities like you can uh, put the conditions on the geolocation like i said you can show the uh, different type of uh, uh, content on the different regional based visitors you can show the end or start date uh, content schedule the content browser language dynamic link referral source device type uh, based condition login user returning visitor uh, visitor you can uh, you can see here you can show the content for the uh, returning visitors different to the new visitors diff okay so this is the very good thing again then you can show the content based on time zone page visits utm parameters ab testing logging search term ip cookies and the user role here okay so in search term what i, I must say here okay so let me uh, give you an example in this while i am showing here our plugin will be uh, installed okay let's activate it let's go to the demo here so this is the very good uh, example here that the if so is illustrating on the search term based content suppose any person got the uh, 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 get to your content from the google ads you can see dynamic content wordpress plugin is this is the uh, ad text okay and this is the different ad text so these type of content personalization you can do with this plugin i hope you are getting here what i am trying to say with you okay so this is the example i am showing you now let's go to the our plugin okay our plugin is installed i must copy the uh, this license code okay so this is the single license code here and after i am using on my website this is not going to work for you so i strongly suggest you to invest in this lifetime deal here okay so plugin is installed let's go to the uh, license section here and now i have to paste this license okay this is the license section okay activate license and you can see our license is the activated and now we can do all the things with ipso plugin so let's first go on to the all triggers so i am going to give you walk through first all of these uh, features and what you can do with this okay and like i said the ipso plugin is worked with all type of uh, page builders and if you are not using any page builder that's okay with you too and for my all the things for editing or the post creating i am using the gutenberg editor here so i will show you gutenberg editor and how this will show in the uh, that editor okay so i am creating a new post for the example purpose here and now let's search this plugin so i will click on the plus icon and just click on if so and you can see dynamic content okay all you have to uh, enter this here and you can create the new trigger see so that's how this is working okay so i am going to show you all the triggers here or what you can do you can also create the mega, your uh, custom trigger from this section or you can also create the triggers or choose triggers from the dynamic content on your page builder okay so these two things works as the same so let's create a new trigger i will click on the add new okay and here it will ask me to put the content condition to show the content so as for now i am 
naming it as the test okay my okay i am naming it as the test now it will ask me to select a condition so my condition is the uh, user behavior suppose this is the user behavior user is logged in or logged out or it's a new user or a returning visitor suppose i want to show the different content to the returning visitor okay so this is first visit or the three visit or the custom okay i can also uh, make it customized here so suppose i want to make it first visit after a returning visitor coming for the first time i want to show the content this okay i can add images i can add paste code all the things yes okay so this is the thing plus this is the content i am going to show the uh, returning visitor and this is the default content so this is content will show for all the new visitors like this is test one and this is for the uh, all the uh, visitors for uh, that are new or the uh different from the returning visitor that this will uh, default content will show up and and for all the returning visitor that are coming for the first time after their uh, uh visit this is the uh, content that is going to show up so this is the trigger that you can use or create for your dynamic content and once the, everything is done you have added content image all the things here you can publish this thing here and then you can what you can do you can just use this shortcut to add this thing on your any type of post or page see that's how easily you can use this plugin then we have the audiences here okay i am leaving it this thing okay so then we have the audiences like i said and in the audiences you can create your audience you can customize or personalize your audience based on the different things here you can see here okay then we have the geo locations and like i said on the geo locations you are get the monthly limits based on the uh, plan that you have in invested okay this is the license key so again i will put the license key here and click on the activate license okay I think their geo location license is different compared to the their regular license so what you can do you can click on the this here but if you have invested on the lifetime deal you are going to already get these both licenses if so license plus the geo location license too because their limitations is different i think that's why they decided to use two uh, different kind of licenses here then we have the dki and i don't know what is the dki so i have to go to their documentation to know more about this here Dynamic keyword inserted okay like i said if you anyone getting from the uh, google ads and th there are the different kind of the these keywords is showing on the different kind of uh, ad targeted here so that thing is the dynamic keyword insertion okay so this thing you have to uh, get to know from their documentation and learn from it so on this type of geolocation dki you can create different kind of keywords and then input this uh, short code on that content to show different kind of the keywords for the different kind of visitors getting from the sources here see i i know these things complicated but once you get to know this plugin from inside and out you will easily uh, use this plugin for the dynamic content okay so now let's uh, move to the our next section which is the settings from here you can check out all the settings and configure settings according to your some specific needs and desire so you can see here there's a page caching compatibility so with this when i enable this i you can see here i am using a cache plugin so when i enable this it will going to be suitable with my cache plugin and so all the pop-up and conditioner despite the i am using a cache plugin then we have the aj plugs loader okay these are some uh, advanced configuration settings that you can do and i suggest you should only change or enable or disable these settings once you get to know what these things do with your plugin or the info information that you're going to use on the website using if so plugin okay so these are the all the things that you can do in the if so plugins i know it's not the very uh, detailed uh, tutorial here but i am to uh, going to show you that thing on the different video let me know if you want a detailed uh, tutorial on the if so plugin in the comment so that's all for today's video if you are really interested in the knowing or buying the if so plugin the link will be given in the description about its lifetime deal here okay so that's all for today's video i hope you really enjoyed this video and get to know everything and the most of the information about the uh, this plugin or this if so platform so bye bye take care and i will see you in the next one